Just imagine open web pages and apps caught people by poking at their bubbles. More frequently used bubbles could get bigger, less used ones could fade away. So I did bookmark bubbles. I have way too many bookmarks in my browser. These are only for the most visited pages. So it doesn't sync with your browser. Maybe it will in a future version, but you can share links to it. Now, not all websites have nice looking favicons and they often are way too low resolution. So I implemented the screen capture mechanism. Apps, on the other hand, have pretty nice icons we could work with, but there are just too many of them on our devices. Well, at least on my device. Impossible to find anything. That's why I came up with the idea of using Play Store categories. I've seen it somewhere else. It's quite tricky actually, but here you are. These are all the games and you can add them in one go. What better? If you leave the filter on like this and check auto-populate, when you install a new game later, its bubble will automatically be added to this cloud. And you can have other clouds, productivity apps, health and fitness, or why not just a cloud for all the new apps you install on your phone? Kind of a natural selection. Let the least used apps disappear. If we have A for apps and B for bubbles, why not add C for contact? Same idea, often contacted people should take up more space on your screen. Not everyone has picture, those will just appear with a few letters of their names. You can configure the color. You can add contacts in bulk by groups. You know the groups you can set up in Gmail contacts or elsewhere. You cannot get Facebook profile pictures, that's a bummer. You have to add them manually, sorry. And of course, you can also have multiple clouds of people on your home screens. Family, colleagues, friends, enemies, maybe not those, but you get the idea. And then comes Android Wear. And we are right back to square one. Could we start apps on the watch using bubbles? I mean, that might feel intriguing to our fruit-loving friends. Besides, the Google offered alternatives are nice, but Android is all about choice. So could we? Answer yes. Introducing Wear Bubble Cloud. Actually, two of them right away. You get a favorites cloud and another cloud for archive or whatever you want to use it for, just to split your Wear apps in case it gets too crowded on your wrist. The favorite cloud is one screen size. The archive cloud can expand. Choose how you want to access them. Swipe from the left or the right, or you can double tap too. You can also manage your bubbles on the watch itself. Move them between sides by long pressing or do it in bulk. Archive the least used icons or reset their sizes. Switch sides. Anyway, a lot more is planned for the wear component. I just need to get to it. Contact bubbles to dial people, bubbles to start apps on your phone, or even a few bubbles could be placed on your watch faces, far-fetched as it sounds. Now, there could be problems. The most daunting one is launcher compatibility. I went into great lengths to make it work with the most popular launchers but some launchers are just not cooperating enough. There is a standard, but they don't follow. My app needs to know how much space it has for its bubbles, and many launchers just don't report the correct dimensions. Then you will need to do a little fiddling. I'm sorry. I tried to make it as frictionless as possible though. So if it looks like this, or this, or this, do this. Open settings, scroll down to launcher tweaks, check launcher compatibility mode, click on one of the color corner markers, we are back in the launcher. We will need to align the two corner bubbles with the corner markers. For best results, align them as perfectly as you can, the bubbles should look completely flush. The gray arrows help you in this. When you're done,
click the check mark in the center. Now, in compatibility mode, you will have to repeat the same process every time you change the size of the widget, which of course doesn't need to happen that often. But if this is a problem, you can play with the advanced parameters. Here is how. Hit the float pin, view the incriminated bubble cloud. Try the recommended resize factor. It might improve the look, but if it's not perfect, you can fine tune it. If they give you the option, turn off padding in the launcher. If it's not an option, you can counteract with these sliders. They are also useful if the bubbles appear squeezed in either direction. You will get it. If not, shoot me an email, I will come up with the settings for your launcher. But please don't rate my app low because of a misbehaving launcher. Let them know there was trouble. And thank you for your interest. Thank you for your time to listen to this. Please support my work by giving a high rating. There will always be people who don't read descriptions or listen to videos and then downrate an app. Please help so theirs are not the only voices heard.